Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are trying out the brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills face palettes. I have two different shades right here. They are giving me like complete vacation vibes right now. I cannot wait for you guys to see how they apply on my mature skin, how I review them and rank them. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can get notified. I do upload new videos every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time, and you don't want to miss it. Join our fun glam fam. Follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram and on my blog, ChristyAllure.com. And please give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me out. Comment below. Say hello. I love to hear from you guys. All right, let's just jump right into this. I'm so excited. So I just filmed this eyeshadow look, and you will see it on my last video, so be sure to click on that card right there and check it out and see how I created this beautiful Natasha Denona Zendo eyeshadow look. All right, you guys, it's going to go perfectly with these new palettes from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Very excited. When I saw this email come through, I ordered it on her website because it wasn't even out at Ulta or Sephora yet. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get my hands on it because I am a huge fan of her bronzer and her blushes and her highlights. So to have it all in one palette, I was so excited. So I picked up two colors so you guys as can see, I did pick up the Italian Summer and off to Costa Rica. Absolutely stunning packaging. Anastasia Beverly Hills always nails it with her packaging. It is so pretty. I do have her brow freeze on today, so you can check out that card right there. I rated it with the highlighter, the uh, iced out highlighter. So we'll kind of compare the highlighter to her other, you know, really popular highlighters. I'll go through the details right there. So this palette runs a $58. It has a total weight size of a combined 17.6 grams. So it's about $3.30 per gram if you look at the total weight size. The actual palette size is about five by two, almost three inches. So it's pretty tiny and it's Compact, but it's, you know, you get enough product in there, which is great for traveling. Let's start off with the off to Costa Rica. So it's from medium to tan skin tones, and it has the same amount of ounces and grams in each palette. So you're looking at the bronzer right there at 0.28 ounces, eight grams of product, and that's called Tamarindo. It's an amber brown. That's about $7.25 per gram when you're looking at just the bronzer, okay? And then the highlighter is 0.17 ounces, 4.8 grams, and that is called Sunset Beach in the Costa Rica one, and that is $12 a gram. So you're not getting very much highlighter in that, although you don't use too much highlighter. And the whole fun of this palette is that and we'll get into pricing later. It's a shimmery bronze gold. So I think that one's gonna be a little too dark for my preference on highlighters. And then the blush is again, 0.17 ounces, the same amount as the highlighter, 4.8 grams, and again, $12 per gram. And that is a bright coral. It's called hibiscus. It is an absolutely stunning, color. And then let's look at Italian Summer. So Italian Summer is for fair to light skin tones, same amount of ounces and grams of product. So I don't need to go over that. The bronzer is called Pompeia and that's a light golden honey. And the highlighter is Sardinia, which is a light golden honey. And the blush is called Camellia, which is a soft coral with a gold pearl like sheen to it. It is so beautiful. I'm not really into sheens. That's why the off to Costa Rica one attracted me more because of that bright coral. And then the last one is Tropical Getaway. I don't have that one on hand. That's for deep skin tones. So the bronzer on that one is called Coconut, which is a deep mahogany 
Belize, which is a shimmery, radiant gold highlighter, and the blush is called Dragon Fruit, which is like a deep, rich berry. So gorgeous on that deeper, dark skin tones. Now let's flip over to the details. It's a natural, radiant finish, oil-free, long-wearing, cruelty and paraben-free, and dermatologists test it. There's no scent to it. It's very, very good for girls like me with very sensitive skin. That's why I love her bronzers and blushes and highlighters. It's an all-in-one three well face palette featuring a bronzer, highlighter, and blush for a touch of getaway warmth and glow. It really just makes me want to go on vacation. It has an ultra smooth powder formula with a seamless blend. It delivers a lightweight buttery fill, an illuminating instant glow and warmth for all skin tones, and can be used on the face and the body. It's long lasting, has a natural radiance easy to apply with buildable formulas and a luxe portable glam compact that provides an unbeatable one and done solution for a subtle supercharged look so pretty like I said I am a huge fan of her blushes they are ranked number one for me when it comes to powder blushes that blush trio it's this one is my favorite this is called the uh, peachy love I also love a couple of the other ones I'll show you right there but so beautiful this is like perfection to me I'm also a huge fan of of her saddle bronzer. Oh, this is one of my favorite bronzers of all time. So I really am interested to see how this is going to compare. We'll do some swatches. This is again, the Italian summer. I will show the up close shots right there. I did swatch this one already. So I kind of indented the one I have here on hand, but it is so beautiful. I ordered this one from Sephora. Sephora has two of the shades they have the light one and the medium one they do not have the deep one currently as i'm filming right now maybe it will change later ulta has all three anastasia beverly hills all three I usually put in the details where it's available but yeah this is this right here like the bronzer color actually and the highlighter were the ones that attracted me the most so this one i was definitely very 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 excited about but i loved the intensity of this blush so this is the off to costa rica so neutral tone bronzer almost like a contour type color and then of course that highlighter is beautiful but i think it's going to be a little too deep for me but that blush tone was what i was most excited about so i think what we're going to do is is maybe we'll just kind of do one on each side and kind of make sure it doesn't look too, too crazy. I'm not gonna use the highlighter, I'm gonna use the same highlighter. Or what we can do, since I guess they're both kind of, let's put them next to each other. So Italian Summer definitely has more neutral tones and then that Costa Rica one is a little bit deeper and I'll swatch those right there. So yeah, you can see it's actually a little bit warmer and uh, more neutral, that Italian summer, and then that's the, the deeper one. I don't know, we'll have to kind of just play around with it. I'm not really quite sure which one I, I'm gonna like more. Just so creamy though, that is just a beautiful, creamy, creamy color. It's pretty pigmented. I'll go in with my rougher one first. This is the rougher number four. It's kind of an angled what I did my contour with today. Let me pull this mirror down here. And I already have uh, my Lorac contour on, so let's see. I probably shouldn't have done that. Let me try to cover that up a little bit more. All right, we'll go in with the Italian Summer on this side. Ooh, yeah, it's very powdery though. So it's gonna, it's probably gonna go on beautifully. Usually when it's powdery, that's what happens. I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. Wow, yeah, that's creamy. Oh my God, that is a beautiful formula. Oh my gosh, that's intense. That's the Italian summer. Let me, oh my goodness, that was intense. Let's, um, I'm gonna take this Sigma, it's like a soft angled contour F23. I really love this brush and I'm just gonna kinda, actually this one's a little too dense. I have to go in, let's go in with my Luxie one that I used in the last video I just did. I'm just kinda soften that out a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is super pigmented. Super pigmented. You almost, if you're my skin tone, the Costa Rica one might be a little too dark. I'm almost thinking that's gonna be a little too dark. All right, let's 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 go in with it. Let's try a different brush now, because that's gonna be intense. I can already tell you. Let's go in with this rougher number five brush. It's a little bit fluffier. And let's go in with the Costa Rica bronzer on this side. Let me make sure I don't have anything on there. Cover it up. I really want to see what this performs like. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is super pigmented. See how powdery that is? Make sure you dust off. Oh yeah, that's intense. That's intense. I almost prefer the Italian summer one. 
over. I prefer this side for bronzer. Yeah, you can almost get away with a contour, like structuring out the face with that Costa Rica one if you're my skin tone, but yes, I much prefer the Italian summer bronzer. So that's the Costa Rica side. I did it very lightweight. If I would have went in like I did with the Italian summer one, oh my gosh, that would have been way too intense. So I'm gonna go back over that. I, I like this bronzer much better on the Italian summer. The other one is a little too red toned for me but see how powdery that is, so be very careful. You can dip in really, really light on that. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is, wow. Wow, that is so beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's look at it compared to my saddle bronzer. Oh my gosh, they almost look exactly the same. <laughs> so funny. So that's the three on my arm right there. So we have saddle, the Italian summer one, and then the off to Costa Rica. I'll put the names that, of the actual bronzer color. That is definitely the Anastasia formula that I love so much. I was a little afraid maybe it was gonna be a different formula because it's a different palette. I thought maybe it was just gonna be different, but it is very, 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 very similar. So not necessarily, this one's a little too dark for me. Maybe if I was more tanned, you know, like in the summertime, if I get more tanned, which I don't foresee myself getting that much more tanned. So yeah, I don't know. This one is definitely, I'm so glad I got the Italian summer. This is like one of the most beautiful bronzers. Oh my gosh, you guys, oh, but you, have to be really lightweight. So if you're any lighter than me, this is the lightest one. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, this is you just go very soft with it because wow, that's intense. It's beautiful. I mean, not in a bad way. Like it is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. It goes so beautifully with that Natasha Denona Zendo palette. Oh my gosh. And it's very buildable too. So you could have started off a lot lighter than I did. And if you, this is a natural hair brush. You guys know this is my go-to uh, Chikahoto bronzer brush, but oh my gosh, that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Okay, so I am gonna probably, let's see, let's try the blush, the lighter one right here, and then I'll do the darker one on that side. So this is, so you guys can see, just in case you weren't sure which one to get. So I'm gonna take my LA Girl uh, stippling brush, cause I don't know how pigmented this is. We're just gonna go in there. Ooh, it's, it's powdery. Oh my gosh, I just got it all over me. So just be mindful of that. Don't do what I just did right now. Cause it's all over my pants right now, but oh my gosh, you guys, that is so beautiful. That is such a beautiful, beautiful pink. All right, let's just stipple that right here. So this one is definitely gonna be more of a buildable, like you can almost barely see it on me. Of course I am using more of a stippling brush because I was afraid that was gonna be super pigmented. All right, let's go in with my IT Cosmetics brush now. So that brush wasn't good. This is a better brush to use, this IT Cosmetics one. But do you guys see, it's like it's barely showing up on me. So I like the bronzer better on this one and the highlighter, obviously, but I think I'm gonna like the other blush better. So very pretty. If you don't like a lot of blush, this is a gorgeous color. Absolutely gorgeous. It's very pretty, very sun-kissed. I just don't see it much on my skin. I like a lot of blush. I like it to go, ooh, here's my blush. <laughs> so we're gonna go in with this coral one. Yeah, this is definitely up my jam up my jam. It's up my jam, you guys. This is definitely my jam. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You guys get it. This is so pretty. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. This is definitely the one. Oh my gosh, I wish these were interchangeable so I can, yeah, they're not, but I wish they were. Now I have to take both of them if I want them. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Oh, that blush is so beautiful. Yes, that reminds me a lot of the Peachy Love. A lot of the peachy love. I'll do the swatches. I'll show you guys the swatches right there. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is more like pool party. Uh, that, was, that was the other one I, I own and I like. So this is, you know, it's just more subtle. Pool party does pull a little bit more pigment because you got the trio, you get the dark and the lights. This is just light. So that's the Costa Rica. Obviously I need to uh, blend that out, but that's okay. We can do that, we'll diffuse that out. And I'll leave a comment below and let you guys know how it wears. But, 
Oh my gosh, yes. So this is the Italian Summer on this side with just this color blush. And then this is the Costa Rica blush, which is more of like a coral blush. I think this is more of a matte blush, that's why. And this one has a little bit of a, a shift to it, a little bit of a pearlescent shift to it. It's not luminous by any means. It's still really beautiful because I don't really like luminous blushes, but it's just, it's just very light. Okay, so we're gonna go in on the other side so we can match this up. Oh gosh, yes, this, this is definitely the kind of blush I like. Oh, that's so pretty, you guys. Oh, ooh, these companies are, and it's very buildable. So if you go, you can go, you know, heavier handed with it, but, and I'm dusting off, but you, it's so easy. I'm just showing you guys how easy it is to build that. Oh, again on the nose, I like it on the temples. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, 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 oh. So yes, if uh, Anastasia would just allow me to just combine those two so I can just take one, that would be amazing. <laughs> That'd be so amazing. I did order the Victoria Beckham bronzer bricks. So very excited to get that in. I have the new Chanel. You guys know I love my Chanel cream bronzer. They, can't, they now have it in a deeper tone. So I have that in the mail as well. We'll be comparing that to my other Chanel Soleil Less Beige. I don't know, they keep changing the names on me. So look, look forward to those. We have a lot of bronzers coming up, but yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes, that is so pretty. Okay, let's try the highlighter out. Again, this highlighter is gonna be too dark for me. I can already tell you that, but it will be a really beautiful eyeshadow very beautiful. And if you have uh, deeper skin than me, then that will be a very beautiful highlighter. It's just that that's not gonna, that's not my kind of highlighter. So it might be like a good like cheek topper or something like that, but I have too much texture on my skin to do that. This is definitely more of a, oh wow, that's intense though. Oh my gosh, I don't know, oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna have to go super light handed on that because whoa, that's pigmented. Whoa, that's pigmented. Let's put that up against, I'll show you right there. It, that's the Iced Out Highlighter, that's the Anastasia Amrezy that I love, and then those are the two new highlighters. Obviously, very big differences in all of those. But oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know, this, you guys, I'm a little scared now. Let's go in with my Wayne Goss. I was gonna go in with my Anastasia one, but I think that's gonna be, this picks up a lot of product. I guess we can try it. This is the Anastasia one highlighter brush, A25. I'll put it on the corner like I always do. But I think this is gonna be a little too intense. I don't know, we're gonna go really light handed on that. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as I thought. I was like, oh my gosh, that is really pretty though. I thought it was gonna be really, really aggressive. Actually, that's really pretty. Okay, you, I didn't have to be so, yeah. Just be careful, go light-handed. Because the minute I started putting more pressure there, it definitely got it got aggressive quick. So beautiful though. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pop that into my inner corner. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty, you guys. Oh yeah, oh wow. Oh wow, a little bit on the brow bone there. Oh my gosh. This will be really pretty as a shadow. I already have eyeshadow on, but yeah, I'd like to do that in a whole nother look. Oh my gosh, you guys. I do have a palette that I just purchased from her that I will be doing. Um, it was one of her quads that was on sale. I don't even know where it's at. It was broken. They sent me, they're sending me a new one. So but yeah, it was on sale and it was really beautiful. So maybe we can do like a glowy summer look with that. Oh, you guys, I think I would have even liked it with my Wayne Goss airbrush just because um, it just goes on. But do you, I just wanna show you guys how pigmented that is. It kind of reminds me of Wayne Goss's highlighter, how like, like you just get so much opaqueness from it. Oh, I mean, we can try to see what this one would look like on. Let's go on the other side of the brush, but see how bronzy that is? I think that's gonna be more of like a topper. Just go on the bottom part, just so you guys can see. Oh, it's not too bad. It could still work. It actually could still work for me. Okay, that's pretty. It's pretty, I prefer the lighter one, but that is really, really beautiful. All right, let's fix the blush now. 
I'm a little afraid for my girls out there that are lighter than me or very fair skin because this is extremely pigmented, this bronzer. You, these will work for you, definitely, but the bronzer is extremely pigmented. So be very mindful of that. It's not that it can't work because everything can work. You just have to learn how to make it work. And that's the thing. You have to learn the actual tools that make it work and, you know, like dusting it off on the back of your hand before going in there and just, you know, different brushes to apply it different ways. So very beautiful. This is one of my favorite bronzers right now. I think that is gorgeous. This, the tone was just perfection to me. And I loved the, just the texture of it was so pretty. And I like this one. I just think it's going to be a little too deep for me right now, but maybe it might again work for me when I get more tanned. This highlighter, I still don't foresee me reaching for it as much, maybe more as an eyeshadow. And this blush was just perfection to me. Like that was a beautiful powdered blush. Well, I'll, I'll drop a comment and pin a comment and let you know how it wears as I keep wearing it. But it is so, so beautiful. I never really have a problem with her blushes and her, her actual formula with her highlighters, her blushes and her bronzers. They last all day typically. So I don't really foresee this one being any different. It is so beautiful. So if you're new to my channel, I like to rank my products and I do five categories typically, unless it's an eyeshadow palette. I like to look at the packaging the product claims, application, the shade range, and then the pricing, and then give you my total Allure score and my total percentage of whether or not I think this product is worth purchasing. Always, like I say on all my videos, take what I say with a grain of salt because what I may like may not be something you like. So always keep that in mind. Just go lightly on it. You know, don't come for me in the comments and say, well, you know, I like it if I score it low or vice versa. So anyway, let's just move on to the packaging. The packaging is Stunning, you guys. Take a look at that picture. It is so beautiful. Again, I just love the sizing of it. It is a perfect amount. And what I like is she gave us product. I love that. And I think that's a pretty good size bronzer right there. It's perfect. So very beautiful packaging, a solid 10 out of 10. Yes, yes, yes. It is 100% of me loves that packaging. Let's move over into product claims. Ultra smooth powder, absolutely. Lightweight, buttery fill, absolutely. Instant glow, absolutely. Long lasting, we'll have to see about that, but I'm pretty sure it's going to. And easy to apply, absolutely, you guys. The product claims are there, a solid. 10 out of 10. So 100% of me agrees with these product claims. All right, let's move into application. Application was just phenomenal, you guys. It was so beautiful. These are gorgeous formulations. I was like scared. I wasn't sure because I was like, I love her formula. And when you love something so much, you're like, you know, when it comes out in a different packaging or a different way or a different formula, you're like, oh my gosh, if it's not broke, don't fix it. You already did such a spectacular job on your bronzers and blushes and highlights in the past, but she nailed it. She nailed it. It is beautiful. This is the darker one. Again, these are extremely pigmented. So just be really, really mindful of that and make sure you're using tools that are just not gonna like literally cake on the product. Make sure you're dusting off. They are very powdery, but usually when things are powdery, it means they go on smooth. That's why they're so powdery. They're just, it's just a beautiful formula. Beautiful formula, absolutely. This bronzer, oh my gosh, you guys, it is literally the best tone to date that I've seen on a bronzer. And the highlighter, even though they were too light for me or too dark for me, I still was able to make it work because the formula was there because it is so good and so creamy and so opaque. It's not like glittery or, you know, if you don't like like glittery type highlighters, it's not. It just leaves a beautiful sheen. It's very, very buildable. I still wish the, there was a shade in there though that that was missing for me on the highlight color, but the actual formula, absolutely stunning. And this is a beautiful blush, beautiful blush, but you know, I'm just a little extra and I just like that pop of color where that's a very natural one. But if I was doing like a no makeup day, like, and I just wanted something, a little bit of something on my cheeks, I think that is so pretty. And I love the fact that, like this is definitely more my jam right here, but I love the fact that it's, you know, not going to clog my pores and it's really good for sensitive skin and it doesn't have fragrance to it or, uh, 
what do you, coconut oil in it, which is like in every product these days. So I love that. And I love that it's all in one. It's just so, so convenient. So application, a solid 10 out of 10, 100% of me loves, loves, loves this formula. So beautiful. Anastasia just kills it with bronzers and blushes and highlighters. All right, let's move over into shade range. So this is where, you know, I'm, I'm probably not going to score as high as I had hoped to because I thought for sure Costa Rica was going to be the one. I wasn't sure about the highlighter. I was like, oh, I wonder if it's going to be too dark. And then when I got it, I was like, yeah, it's too dark. So again, it's just because I wish there was something in between for the highlighter. If there was that in between color, that would have been Amrezy 2.0 highlighter, which is like my holy grail highlighter, which is not available anymore, which I wish she would bring that back. <laughs> I mentioned that in my other Anastasia videos, but yeah, that was the only problem. And I wish they were interchangeable. You know, I wish I could just pop one in the other because I love that bronzer color. I love this blush color. So that's the only thing, the way they were coordinated, I just feel like, and I'm a little scared for my light, light skin girls. I think medium, light, medium and deep tone, she nailed it for that. But I think the fair skin girls are actually going to have a little bit harder time with these palettes. They won't with the blush and the highlighter. Absolutely going to be stunning for fair skin, light skin. But I'm a little scared of that bronzer. You're going to have to go really light handed on that. So shade range, I'm going to go nine out of 10. So 90% of me would recommend this as far as shade range goes. Now let's move over into pricing. So I know you guys are going to think I'm a little crazy because when you really break down the three, you're not getting that much highlighter and blush. But as I already explained, you're not going to use that much of it. So I'm going to judge this based on the whole, the amount of grams you get as a whole. $3.30 is not that much per gram for what you're getting. You're getting quality product, quality application, quality ingredients, gorgeous packaging, gorgeous packaging, luxury type packaging, luxury type makeup for $3.30 per gram. So when I'm judging this, I'm judging this as a whole and I'm going to give it a solid 10 out of 10. We are looking at a total allure score of 49 out of 50. So almost a hundred percent of me is telling you this product is worth it. This, these palettes are just so Stunning. So the only dock they got was just from the colors because I can't seem to make it work for my preferences. And who knows? I mean, if you're a light medium girl, you're going to be like, girl, this is perfect for me. Like, or medium tan skin. You're like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. If you're a light skin girl, you're probably like, yes, this is perfect for me. You don't like a lot of blush tone or pop. Yes, that works for you. I hope that helped you guys out. If this is something that you were interested in, I'm glad I was able to get two colors to show you on camera. Maybe you weren't sure either what color you would be, but this just exceeded all my expectations. I mean, I had high hopes for it because you guys know, as I stated earlier, I love her formula usually. So I had high hopes, but I can't believe it's just jumped to my number one bronzer. That's crazy. I am having so much fun reviewing all this new makeup. I have so much more to go. So comment below and let me know your favorite new releases right now. There's so much out there. If this is something that you already purchased or had your eye on, let me know. I love hearing from you guys. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can join our fun glam fam every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. Follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram and on my blog, ChristyAllure.com. Again, give this video a huge thumbs up. Go ahead, click that like button right now, you guys. It really does help me out. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.